We are seeing a market for new performance systems. Investors are increasingly demanding about the, the sophistication of uh, performance analytics that they, they expect uh, their fund managers to, to provide. Many firms, both wealth and asset management firms, use uh, portfolio management systems to provide some basic performance measurement reporting, but that's no, no longer sufficient. With, the, with investors increasing expectations, firms are having to invest in, in dedicated performance measurement systems that can produce more sophisticated analytics, and those systems have to be integrated into, into firms' uh, systems architectures. Integration capability is a, is a key requirement of, of performance measurement systems. Performance measurement is really about data, analytics, and reporting. You need a complete, consistent set of in investment data in order to be able to perform performance measurement calculations. And that data has to be sourced from mul multiple different systems, and that requires strong integration capability. It's interesting, uh, CB Tower Group recently did a, re a report on uh, performance measurement vendors and they analysed those ven vendors across four different categories and one of those categories was, it was integration. So I think that really underscores how important the integration and data capabilities of, uh, of performance measurement platforms are. Um, and I'm delighted to say that uh, DST's Anova platform w was rated best in class across all four of those categories, including integration. I think one of, the, one of the most interesting areas in the analytics space is fixed income attribution. Fixed income attribution is one of the, the, the more complex areas of performance measurement and attribution. I think we've seen a, we've seen a growth in, in investment in, in fixed income, particularly here in Asia, which perhaps historically was more equities based. And that, combined with inv investors increasing expectations around the sophistication of analytics, means that a, a, a strong fixed income attribution capability is a key requirement of performance measurement systems. There are a number of trends in the re reporting space. I think one is just around the frequency of reporting. So I think we're, we're in a world where we move from quarterly reporting to monthly reporting. Monthly reporting has become weekly. Weekly has become daily. So one of, one, of the, one of the key requirements of a performance system is, is that ability to support more frequent reporting. I think on top of that, increasingly we're seeing a demand for an ad hoc reporting capability. So both investors and internal portfolio managers are raising non-standard queries that need to be answered quickly. So, so systems need to be able to support that ad hoc capability. And lastly, I think visualisation is, is, is another trend. We've invested a huge amount to provide a much richer user experience in terms of drill down capability and, and, and visualization of, it, of, of information. I think that, that's another important area within uh, performance measurement systems reporting capabilities. Daily reporting does put demands on systems, particularly for firms with large volumes of, of transactions, large numbers of accounts, and then on top of that, a daily reporting cycle mean, means that systems need to be able to scale to handle that, 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 that volume of, of, of processing. So scalability is, is, is absolutely a, a key requirement. I think particularly when you overlay uh, firms looking to move from perhaps a, a regional model where they've had multiple performance teams uh, in, in supporting e e each region, moving towards a, a global operating model, a single team, providing uh, performance analytics and reporting globally, then again that requires a, a platform that can scale to meet those global requirements. It also requires a platform that can handle both uh, simultaneously supporting re re querying and reporting and calculation of an analytics. So systems that are purely batch based don't, don't work in that, in that environment. We're certainly seeing a growth in interest in, in cloud-based performance measurement solutions. At DST, we offer our, our Anova solution both in a hosted cloud uh, deployed model or an on-site deployed model. Um, we, the, as I said, there's definitely a, a growth in the level of interest in, in hosted or cloud-based solutions. Not everyone want, wants that. 
some have concerns around the location of data and want to um, ha have the system installed on site, but certainly um, increasingly more and more people are looking at uh, a hosted, de hosted delivery model, which I think offers some advantages in terms of it, the ability to eat more easily scale out to, to support a growing business and to, and to be de deployed more quickly and to deliver, deliver uh, return on the investment faster.